Daisy Mascot and welcome to another episode of Superdrug TV. In today's episode, we're going to be talking to a legendary hair expert and introducing you to some incredible products along the way. Now, first up, go grab your gym kit because we've got Strictly's Diane Buswell here with a quick no equipment yoga workout. Hi everybody, my name is Diane Buswell and I am here with Superdrug TV to guide you through a short workout that you can do at any time of the day. This is going to work your whole body, arms, abs, legs, so let's begin. So we're going to start at the top of our mat, we're going to take a big inhale, arms come up overhead, stretching fingertips touch, exhale, hands down to heart centre. From there, we're gonna fold all the way forward and just touch the ground with those fingertips. Take another inhale, arms come up all the way overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Fold forward, continue that exhale, fingertips touch the ground. Give your legs a little cycle out, then the right left, right, left. We're gonna do just a couple more here just to warm the body up. Inhale, arms come up overhead, exhale, hands to heart center. Fold forward from those hips. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees, a little micro bend in there. Inhale, arms come up overhead, exhale, hands to heart center. Fold forward from those hips. Right, from there, we're gonna step your right leg back and your left leg back, and we're holding a plank here. From there, we're gonna do a little fit flow. So you're gonna keep your elbows by your side. One tricep push up. If you can't do a tricep push up, lower yourself all the way to the ground, and then slowly bring yourself up again. Walk your hands back this time. So we end in a downward facing dog. And on the exhale, you wanna walk yourself back into that plank. This time we're going for three tricep push-ups. So down if you need to, touch the ground and push yourself back up for one. Down, that's two. Last one here, down and push yourself all the way back up. Take it back to your downward facing dog. Inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna lift that right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. From there, we're gonna come in, we're gonna take our right knee to nose for one. Take it back to three-legged dog. Bring it in, uh, inhale for two. Exhale, take it back out. Inhale for three. Exhale, take it back out. Now on this fourth one, we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring that foot through to your runner's lunge. From there, bring your left leg in together. Rise up and sit into your chair pose. Take a big breath in here and exhale. Hands come to heart center, left leg steps back. And then we're gonna come up and do a little bit of a balance. So we're gonna bring your left leg up and tap your knee to elbow for one. Take it back down nice and slow for two. Take it back down for three. Take it back down using the core. Four, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back, hold here. And we're just going to pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Cartwheel your hands down to either side of that right foot. Step back into your plank. One push up here. Come back up. 
we're going to lower all the way down. Upward facing dog, give yourself a little stretch. Untuck those toes and push yourself back into your downward facing dog. On the exhale, this time your left leg lifts up. Thank you so much for joining me in this short yet effective workout. Remember to always stretch after working out and cool your body down. Thank you guys, have an amazing day. How are you not getting on with your New Year's resolutions this year? I, like a lot of people, I'm trying to skip the takeaways and eat a little bit healthier. But if yours was to try out going vegan and you're taking part in Veganuary, then keep on watching because me and my amazing makeup artist, Tembi, are going to be going through some of this week's best vegan buys. Oh. Hello, babe. Back again for yeah, another year. Back. Yes, we are. Happy New Year, first of all. Yeah, Happy New Year. How are you? How's I'm not too first? bad. Not too, not too bad. I mean, obviously different for a lot of people this year. Yeah, exactly. um, do you have any New Year's resolutions to start um, off? God, I, don't, I, don't, I try not to make too many Fine. and I try not to make really outlandish ones because mm -hmm. then you just end up breaking them. Of course. But I try and do like a bit of a new year vision board nice. goal plan yes. and then it just gives you something to focus on for that year then. Of course. I think. Of course. I like that. Well we're talking about vegan beauty yep. today on the show which I'm excited about. Yep. Introduce me to a couple of products that you brought along today for us. Yeah sure. So it's Veganuary so mm -hmm. I thought that I would talk you through some vegan makeup products because nice. you know if you can't change it in your diet then there's other ways that you can do the Veganuary. Yep. Um, so the first range that I'm going to talk about is the Naturally Radiant. Um, okay. This is the two-in-one moisturiser and serum. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I told you before that I love anything that is two-in-one, yep. three-in-one, and this is actually says two-in-one, but really is a little bit three-in-one. Okay. It really, really hydrates the skin. It evens out skin tone, but because it makes your skin really, really nice and smooth, you can use it as a base for your makeup as well. Nice. Love that moisturiser so much, especially for the climate that we've got going exactly. on at the minute we as well. It. We need we it. We really do. Yeah. Our next product I can see is a blusher. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you about this blusher. Yeah. You know that this makes me nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous at all. Have you heard of this brand before? No, I haven't. Right, so EX1 Cosmetics, it's a really, really great brand. They were actually created for people who have got more yellow and golden undertones okay. to the skin. Nice. So perfect for me and you, because mm -hmm. we have got those yellowy golden tones to our skin, so I'm loving it. Perfect. I'm here for it. Yes, we are. Right, don't be scared. Get your blush brush, okay. get the angled one. Fine. Got it. So Daisy doesn't really like wearing that much <laughs> blusher and a lot of clients that I do, they get a bit scared by it and yep. whenever I'm trying to put it on, you can feel the head going back and back and back and back. Yeah. Don't be scared. Okay. It's... So my main concern with using a blusher myself yeah. is I don't really know where to put it. Right. Because we are so used to contouring, I feel now in our generation, yeah, I don't know where my contour's going and then where my blush where is going blush goes, as well. Where your highlighter goes. Exactly. Yeah. Think of it as like a three area rule. So your okay. highlight's going to go on the top of your cheek. Yep. Your contour's going to go underneath your cheek and then your blusher is going to go on your cheek. Fine. Does fine, fine, sense? fine, fine, fine. It makes sense. Right. Take a tiny bit. Yep. You don't want too much. You can always add more. Okay. If you feel like you've got too much on your brush, just dab it off yep. on your hand a little bit and then smile. And then just where the apples of your cheeks are like that, mm -hmm. you kind of want to sweep the brush really, really softly, just like at the base of those apples. Okay. That's it. Just so it's not going too high onto where the highlight should be. And just, you can always add more, so just softly, don't apply too much um, pressure with the brush. And I like to sometimes actually go a little bit 70s and just add a little bit Cute. to the temple. And I know a lot of people like to put blush across their nose. Why is that a, a nice trick to Yeah, use? it's like giving yourself a little bit of a sun-kissed look. If you oh, think nice. about it, okay. the sun would hit your nose first, really, wouldn't it? So if you just, just brush a tiny bit, yep. not too much. We don't want to look like we've got pink noses, but... Yep. Just to give yourself a little bit of... Rudolph season is over. No, we definitely don't want Rudolph. <laughs> Next one. I'm seeing a mascara, and I yep. hear that apparently there aren't too many vegan mascaras yeah, on the market vegan right mascara is actually okay. really, really hard to come by because right. one of the main ingredients will be beeswax. So if you're really going for the vegan option, mm -hmm. then you can't really go for anything that's got beeswax in it. Okay. So these bee mascaras are absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. And there's a new one in the range, the waterproof one. Oh, amazing. Yeah, Which is perfect. like two in one. Yeah, I exactly, love that. Yeah. I love that so much. I love the wand as well because it's really going to pick up all the hairs of the lashes. Nice. You can get right into the root. And these tip, you know how this is like a little ball on yep. the end? You can, on the top, you would go like that. Mm -hmm. On the bottom, you can turn it round. Oh, amazing. And you can get your under lashes, because I don't know about you, but I always get mascara all over my eyes, yep. underwear, underneath yep. my eyes as well, everywhere. So. Perfect. Um, next one. Is this like a little, what is this? This is like a little eyeliner, yeah, shadow eyeliner, stick eye shadow, situation. Another nice. two in one, which we love. Mm -hmm. It's no budge. It's going to last all day long. Okay. And again, super easy to use. 
so it's twisty, so you don't need a pencil sharpener, which is great. Yep. I love the bronze colour. Now, try it on, really, really easy. Try it as an eyeliner first, just pull your eye down. Yeah. Oh, so I'm putting it on my yeah, waterline? Yeah, I reckon put a bit on your nice. waterline. Nice, and then you can use one of these little eyeshadow smudger brushes, that one will be a good one. If you wanted to make it a bit more smoky, you can bring it underneath the lash line. I like that this has got a little shimmer to it, and yeah. they're really, really easy to use exactly. as well. Anything with a bit of shimmer is just going to bring light to your eyes and make it look nice and bright and awake, even though it's in a bit of a darker colour. And you don't even need a sharpener. Don't even need a sharpener, so which good. is great. You can use it all over the lid. What I do sometimes if I'm in a rush yeah. and I want a bit of an eyeshadow look, just paint it all over my eyelids, use my finger. It's amazing. Done. Amazing. Love that. Yeah. And last but not least, the we've lips. got a little lip going on. Um, this is also a vegan product as well. A yeah. Lip, a vegan lip gloss. It's actually a liquid lipstick. It's oh, not a lip gloss. It's, yeah. it's deceived me. Okay. Yeah, so this is from B, and mm -hmm. these are the liquid lips. And perfect at the moment, because obviously we have to wear masks when yep. we're out in public. Yeah. It's matte, it's not gonna budge. It's this, gonna stay on all day. This is a massive issue for me. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I am currently doing my makeup from just like the eyes yeah. up. I'm not doing like, anything down here. Because what is the point? Yeah. But if you know you need to take your mask off, if you're away from people, exactly. um, then these are good you to, still to keep on come and then ready. Not Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go put it on. I think it's gonna go perfect with cool. your look. Oh, love that. The applicator's perfect. So start with your Cupid's bow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And if you sort of smile and talk on your lips a little bit, it makes it way easier. I love that. And because your eyes are a bit softer, you've got a bit of a soft, smoky eye, you can get away with wearing a brighter lip. That is so nice. So nice. But at love the same that. time, because it's so bright and it's got a nice pot, Do you know what? I, mascara. Yeah, I love about this cool. is the fact that it's a liquid lipstick. So it's like really moisturising yeah. um, and not drying the same yeah. way as a lipstick is. All vegan products All are part vegan of products. Veganuary, exactly. which, do you know what? I think it's it's really nice to be involved in this for yeah. the month of January. Whether sure. you want to do it through the food option and give up your milk and your cheese yeah, and, and your bacon as your well. Fish, yeah. Exactly. Um, or if you just want to do it through skincare, exactly. at least we're taking part. Exactly. Tembi, would Small you ever go changes, vegan? Oh, I can't do you it, you know. I can't do it. I used to be the biggest carnivore going. Okay. I would have meat at every single meal, but I've real, I've changed. I have changed. Fine. So now I eat a lot less meat, more fish, more vegetable, more plant based. Okay. But I couldn't do the full hog. So I make small changes. Skincare and makeup. Exactly. There's enough going for it. Tempe, exactly. thank you so much thank for joining you for me. me again. That was this week's day. Yeah. So I am now chatting to Lisa Shepherd. Now Lisa is an absolute legend when it comes to all things hair. She has worked with absolutely everyone and she's here today to chat to us about her brand new hair care line that she's got out called The Hair Boss that is skincare inspired. Hello Lisa. Hello Dyson. How great are you doing? Great to meet you. And great to meet you as Excited well. Excited to share all of this. Listen, we've got a lot of products <laughs> sitting between the two of us. First of all, you've got so many products. I want you to tell me what each and every one does and what it does to your hair. I've also never really heard of something that is skincare inspired yeah. that you put in your hair as yeah. well. So I'm so intrigued to get to know about this. Well, how long have I got? Please, <laughs> as long as you need. Okay, so um, I've always believed from a young hairdresser that skin and hair should be treated the same. It makes sense, yeah. right? Because we've got skin on our scalp. Yeah. And so it's the same kind of composition, the way it's made up, but we don't, you know, we don't. For example, our best seller, which will go straight into is our scalp scrub. Mm -hmm. This product, why don't people use an exfoliant on there? Scalp. So true. If people saw what was on their scalp, they would. Oh, it's quite, under one it's of quite those microscopes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. So the way that we, rela we, we, we relate it to the skincare is you've got a scrub, so it's like an exfoliant for your face. Mm -hmm. It's basically like a facial for hair. Okay. Then we move through to our shampoos, which are cleansers, mm -hmm. you know. So you might have something like a micellar water one day, which we might use, and then another day we might use a cream cleanser, which is more comforting, yeah. you know. So it's our choice on what day of what we use. Yeah. Moving through to our conditioners, um, we've got a super lightweight foam. I mean, people thought I was mad. My, the formulation of this feels quite weird. Mm -hmm. You know, when you put it on your hair, it doesn't give you silky soft hair, but it's not meant to. All I want it to do is, is be weightless and almost leave you with the shine of a conditioner, but something that's just not heavy. You know, European fine hair, which is what majority of us in this country have, even if we've got lots more of it, it's still fine in texture. Mm -hmm. We don't want to overload with product. But we move from our foam and then we go into our double mask. That's our hero, okay. you know. The double mask comes in two pots. I don't know if you know of Plexis if you've heard of plexis in hair. Right, fine. So it's the way we build hair back up. Fine, 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 fine. Widely sort of used between in, in hair salons, professional salons. And then we go on to our little hero down here, one of this ones, this is the, uh, the overnight serum. So I've mm -hmm. got clients that say to me, 
I can't be doing with this four step, you know, this mm -hmm. four step's going to take me too long. I don't want to, I don't, I, three steps are too much, two steps are too much for some people. Yeah. So I said, then I'll make you a product you can sleep in. Okay. <laughs> we love doing our beauty yeah. work in the night, don't so we? <laughs> it, is a, it is one of our yeah. sort of hair hacks that obviously we just put it in our hair when we go to bed, we wake up, shower it out and you've got repaired hair or repairing hair. Yeah. So it's all about, you know, skincare to me is where we use, sometimes we'll use like a serum, sometimes we'll use a heavier cream. It's exactly the same in my hair care range. I want people to have the choice of using a lighter shampoo or a denser shampoo, mm -hmm. a lighter conditioner or a denser conditioner. Mm -hmm. And it judges, it's about what you're doing that day. What products in your range would you recommend for my hair? You definitely scrub girl. Fine, okay. And a top tip when you've got lots of hair, yep. because people, it feels wrong to put a scrub on your hair. I'm so I'm, intrigued I'm by the textures of these, yeah. by we, the experience with, that you get when you first use these products. We, when we first launched them you know, with, with sort of press and journalists, we were working with them and they're super experienced people. And they were like, it just feels wrong having a scrub, mm. putting it in. But I say, look, you've got to get it on your fingertips. And if you can't, shove it in your shampoo. But just make sure you give your scalp a really good mean it massage, okay, you know? Fine, so, fine. so you know you're removing what's there. Yeah. For people that like to do a little DIY situation at home, yes. Lisa, are there certain things that you should leave to the professionals to get done in a salon? What are yes. those things? Well, Can I be doing a DIY <laughs> highlight situation on my on myself or, or not? Leave that That would to be it. a very gentle no. Lisa, I know you've worked with so many celebrities. Who would you say has really great hair in the business? So many. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few I'd like to get my hands on, yeah. you know, but I think really on my hot list at the moment, Cinderella, mm -hmm. Lily James. Yes. I think she is yes. gorgeous. Uh -huh. um, she's edgy. She's cool. I've seen her in different things. And I don't know. I just think she's a blonde. Mm -hmm. You know, I love, I love a good blonde. And, mm -hmm. and for me, she's on my hot spot. <laughs> what products would you recommend for her? What Cinderella products a, a, in your a hair? A bit of the line. whole lot. That's <laughs> the thing, and that's like it's not from a sales perspective. It's because you've got to you've got to keep moving that regime around so yeah. your hair doesn't get used to the product. Yeah. Keep it on its toes. Keep your hair on its toes. Yeah. Lisa, thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us. You're and that welcome. concludes this week's episode of Superdrug TV. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss one, and we'll see you next week.